Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. Well, in case you missed the big headline, we've had our first official heat wave of the year. It stretched from Wednesday of last week through Saturday when the high temperature was 96 degrees. So our tally of 90 degree days now stands at seven for the year. And of course, those four days in the month of July, the four day heat wave that we just uh, came out of. And there are there are more days ahead that will be close to 90. We'll have more on that in just a moment. But here in the noon hour on this Monday, we're in the low and mid 70s all across Connecticut, as cool as 71 uh, in Groton, 75 and Hartford, 74 for New Haven, even mid 70s right now in the Litchfield Hills and the humidity is quite comfortable with dew point values in the 50s inland and close to 60 along the 95 corridor. So uh, nothing too terrible out there by uh, July standards. And there's our eye candy from Hartford showing the cloud cover eroding. So we'll see an, in an increase of sunshine and blue sky as the afternoon progresses. So we head into a Waterbury, a much different scene than not too long ago when we had the cloud cover over the Brass City, now mainly clear. A lot of bright sunshine reaching the Yukon campus there in stores and also into a New Haven. The clearing turn underway, you can see at least toward the distance there. Uh, some breaks in the cloud. So uh, high temperatures this afternoon depend upon how much sunshine we see, but they should top out in the lower 80s along the coastline and a little bit warmer farther inland with a fairly light and variable wind, a bit of an afternoon sea breeze developing. And you can see the wet weather this morning that clipped just skirted southwestern Connecticut continues moving offshore. And with that, the cloud cover is eroding as high pressure uh, is building in. That will set the stage for a couple of the nice days, but uh, ones that will also trend warmer and as well eventually muggier but the high pressure will certainly uh, keep us uh, dry for the next couple of days. So future cast showing the decreasing cloud cover, mainly clear skies this afternoon, mainly clear as we head through the evening into the overnight hours. So our Tuesday tomorrow starts off with ample sunshine and as the clock moves forward in time tomorrow, not much happening again, a, a mainly sunny day on tap throughout the state tomorrow. So uh, temperatures for tomorrow uh, warmer than today uh, was we're going to flirt with the 90 degree mark inland and then for uh, Wednesday, that's when we're going to notice a bit of an uptick in humidity and that's when temperatures likely reach or exceed 90. That will also be the case on Thursday. Now Thursday we'll see an increase in cloud cover and that's with an approaching storm system that could bring some some rain late in the day. I think most of the daylight time on Thursday will be fine. It's Thursday night into Friday morning that we'll see a better chance for rain and possibly some thunderstorms. We'll notice as well by Friday afternoon a decrease in humidity and then for the upcoming weekend near that 90 degree mark with morning lows in the mid 60s for shoreline highs over the coming days. Uh, mid 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday, a couple degrees cooler Thursday and Friday, then ramping back into the mid and upper 80s for the upcoming weekend. So, you know, if we make it to 90 tomorrow and then are able to do so again Wednesday and Thursday, we could have potentially another heat wave. It's going to be a close call, uh, but nothing too extreme temperature wise. Our normal highs in the mid 80s, so just about yeah. five or so degrees above that. For but this it's time been a hot summer so far. Yeah, it's I been mean, hot. It's been, it's been a hot July. That's yeah, for it's sure. been a hot July. Yeah. I should say and that. We're what, just but eight it, days into it. It now. hasn't been bad, though. I mean, that's no. what summer is for. Yes, it was a slow yes. start, but it is here and we're embracing it. We are.